everyone. Thank you for being here. Okay, so uh, Majed Fantar, uh, Audas Technology. This is a uh, Canadian uh, technology company based in uh, Rimouski in Quebec. Uh, we are specialized in uh, innovative renewable energy solution for uh, uh, off-grid and, uh, and remote sites. And uh, I, I'm here to talk to you about my um, uh, our uh, patented technology called Green Cube. So, what is the Green Cube? It's an all-in-one system that came in the shape of an aluminium cube. It can be deployed. Uh, it has uh, solar panels, wind turbines, and all the uh, electric uh, electric material needed to produce, store, and distribute energy in uh, in uh, remote and off-grid sites. So uh, this technology is the, uh, is the results of uh, around 20 years of uh, scientific research and R&D. Uh, in uh, 2012, uh, there's a, a small story about it. So uh, we were uh, dealing with uh, little to uh, some small t uh, energy projects um, um, composed by different uh, specialties, different project managers, uh, one, for the, uh, one for the wind, one for the solar, another one for the diesel generator, and so on. And our customer told us, please, can you just handle all this all together uh, by your own stuff? We are tired of uh, managing all these people and all these uh, bills and so on. And uh, 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 luckily, we, we, we did this uh, successfully, and then we... Uh, uh, it uh, tilted in our, in, uh, in our heads. We said, why not doing this as our core business? And then the Green Cube is, uh, uh, was born. Uh, so, so far we have done uh, so much research and development and we have deployed some Green Cube units, uh, especially in Canada. Uh, today, uh, Green Cube uh, is, uh, is used by, the, uh, by several, uh, several customers in, uh, in the Arctic, Arctic and Northern so, uh, zones, and uh, also it's used by the uh, Canadian Armed Forces, and also Park Canada, the uh, Park Canada, the, the administration that manages the natural parks in uh, in Canada. So um, we went even uh, even further. So we we try to go uh, uh, external, so uh, international. Now we are delivering some green cubes to uh, Gabon. To, uh, uh, to power a, um, a, an off-grid gorilla sanctuary in Gabon. It is totally isolated, and there will be 16 little green cube uh, models that will uh, dispatch energy in, uh, in, uh, in the form of uh, several energy spots to power the whole, the whole park. There will be also uh, a part of this uh, material that will go power uh, a small village around the, the park also. And um, uh, wh why we are doing this? Because in, uh, in our company, we believe that this kind of project cannot succeed without involving the people that will use our technology. So this project comes also with um, m must, uh, much education, much, uh, much help in, uh, in, the, uh, in, in how to use optimally this, uh, this technology. Uh, now we go also to uh, to provide this technology to other people, to other uh, countries. Uh, for example, we have a project that we uh, we really cherish today, and um, it's about powering uh, agriculture and rural life in Tunisia, in the city of uh, Bizert. So Bizert is going smart right now. It is one among the four cities in the world that are classified as uh, future smart cities, and uh, there is a lot of poverty there, but a lot of agriculture development and economic development there. And we want to be part of this, and we want to be part of this, uh, uh, this revolution that is happening there. That's why we want uh, to people in, in, uh, in Bizert, in Tunisia, to benefit from this technology. And why I am here, because I want to uh, involve you in this project and uh, ask for your help to realize this. We have the technology and uh, these people in Tunisia lack the means to pay for this technology and to uh, appropriate this technology. That's why 
your help would be uh, really crucial for this. Thank you. Thank you very much, Majid. Now we have three minutes left, um, so we can open for questions if anyone has a question. There is a microphone that will come around if anyone's interested. What costs could people expect? Let's say 10 kilowatt peak system. Yes. Well, the the um, uh, the green cubes deliver uh, as a uh, as a basic uh, stage six kilowatt, but it is a stackable technology. That's what's the best part of it. So uh, you, you could use one unit if you have just one house to power or one little uh, farm, but it could go to around one 100 kilowatts with small units that can work together as a microgrid, but can also be easily movable, easily uh, stackable, and so on. The, uh, the cost of such projects is evaluated as around $1 million, including, uh, including the technology, but also all the accompaniment to, to, uh, to learn how to use it. Uh, it's also an, an internet object. It's always connected to internet. So uh, people can also learn to monitor it, to use it, but it can also create jobs because there will be people who will, uh, that will be needed to, to, to run it. So uh, the, the cost is, is really, I think the cost is not really significant comparing to the benefits that it could have. And uh, one of the examples is what we did in, in the Arctic with, uh, with, with the Green Cube as well. So the one million would be for how many kilowatt? It will be uh, uh, around 80 kilowatts to power a village, an agricultural site. There, is, uh, there are two entrepreneurs there that want to run uh, aquapony and uh, uh, alternative agriculture. So it's really about the future. Thank you. I think we have time for another question if anyone has one. Otherwise, I might ask you a question. What do you see as... Um, the main barrier to being able to scale up this technology and bring it to more people? Well, uh, it is, it is the, the, the financial access because now uh, we, we have a technology, I guess, that the, uh, which price is uh, rather competitive uh, comparing to several uh, other solutions that rely most on diesel or a mix between diesel and renewable. We offer a, uh, a, uh, a system that can have the same configuration, but the all-in-one configuration, the, uh, the possibilities of uh, monitoring and so on, give really a, 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 a real advantage to what we see here. That's why our technology is patented, after all. So um, the, 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 most big, the biggest barrier is, is financial, but I think that if there is the, uh, the, the goodwill to help uh, to, 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 to build su uh, such project, I think the benefits would be the good, uh, farther than the, uh, than the cost, the, the, the money that we could uh, have to put in. Well, Majid, thank you very much. That's like a very You're interesting welcome. technology. Thank, thank you. you very much for your pitch. Um, and we might uh, make way for the next pitch. Thank you. Thank you for listening. And don't hesitate if you have any other questions. I'm, I'm still around until Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>